Slovakia and uh, can you tell us how do you like Slovakia so far? Well, ahojte. Uh, Slovakia has been wonderful so far. We've really enjoyed it. It's, you know, coming from the United States, we don't see the older European style buildings and it's, ex you know, John and I are talking, it's very, very fun to see it. We were walking around, we got dropped off at the cab at the wrong place. So we walked and we had a lot of time just looking at the, yeah. looking at the way the, uh, the, 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 the city is. Uh, the people have been wonderful. We've had some great meals, some great, great steaks. We've, we've uh, been very, very fortunate to see it. And uh, Daniel, who's helped organize this in, in yeah. Milan, mm -hmm. been very, 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 very gracious. And, and so we've had a great time so far. Yeah. Are you first time here? First time in Slovakia. I've never been here before. Yeah, I've been, I, I've been out in 1996 or seven. I was in Prague a long time ago. Can you tell us maybe why you are here in Slovakia? Why you decided to share your knowledge to our, our people? Well. One, I was asked, so that's part of it. But two, I think I think this is a message that that you know can benefit so many people around the world. I mean, I, I'm obviously U.S. based, and, and but I have a passion for um, you know try to get everybody as healthy as possible. And I think, fortunately, in Slovakia, what's coming here mm -hmm. is what's what's already happened in the United States, as as the food is going to be uh, probably you know driven in the wrong direction and we, we need we, it's it's nice you can cut that off ahead of time because you probably uh well if you, if you have you been to the united states no not yet you'd be surprised when you go there how many people have so many health problems mm -hmm. and, and, and we've got a lot of people that are struggling with obesity which you know we don't see it as much here but, but it'll happen you'll start to see it over time so you need to you need to stop that before it happens what's your best piece of advice for for health uh, well, I think you have to realize that uh, your health is in your hands. You don't depend on the government, maybe not even the physicians. You got to, you got to, you got to really be uh, in charge of your own health. And, and you know, the way I was trained as a physician, standard in the United States, I don't think I was actually making people healthy. In fact, mm -hmm. I was just basically allowing them to continue to be sick. So you have to really um, take your health in your own hands. Do your own, you know, uh, investigation. Really assess what's going on. Uh, nutrition is paramount. It's incredibly important. You know, I think that's probably if you don't have that right, everything else is 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 not going to be helpful. I think after that, it becomes sleep, exercise. Uh, you know, not being sedentary, those things. But but gosh, uh, you have to you have to be your own boss. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you, Sean? I will be. I'm I'm shortly to be 58 years of age. Yeah. And what's your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food is, is is going to be steak from a cow. Yeah. Well, what's your message maybe for people who right now are watching this video? Uh, what's your message for people here in uh, Czechoslovakia? Don't be afraid of meat. Embrace it. It's it's what made us human beings in many ways. And uh, I think the, 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 if there's a message, and I don't know what's going on in, in you know, Czech, Czech Republic's mm -hmm. uh, uh, or Slovakia, if they're trying to tell you you need to go away from meat and eat more plants, that is a message that's going to harm more people than it will help. So okay. keep the meat. Keep the meat. <laughs> thanks. Thank, sure. Thanks, John. Thank you. Appreciate thanks. it. Yeah.